WCPTDavid.com. I've helped thousands of WCPT listeners, but I can't help if you don't call. 312-751-1333 or visit WCPTDavid.com. Pro Mortgage and Equal Housing Lender, Illinois Residential Mortgage Licensee, 4358, RMLA, NMLS, 19186. This is Gary Menzel, President of the United Union of Roofers, Waterproofers, and Allied Workers Local 11, and I want to talk about why unions exist. We exist so that people don't have to work two or three jobs at minimum wage to barely pay their rent, nonetheless support their family. We exist so that people can go to work every day without the constant fear of intimidation, harassment, or discrimination. We exist so that people can work a 40-hour week and spend weekends with their families. We exist to remind corporations that even though they are not people, they still need a conscience when dealing with the real people they employ. We exist so that millions of workers have one strong voice. And finally, we exist because every country needs a strong middle class. I know you've heard that before, but our economy is driven by people like us buying everyday products and services. It's simple economics. Unions and their members are the backbone of America. Join us as we build a stronger workforce for future generations. This is Gary Menzel reminding you to support your local union. Right now with Galaxy. Buy one cabinet, get one free. Visit us online at galaxyhome.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. Save an additional $500 when you book right now. I'm Chuck Chamblick, CNBC, a relief rally on Wall Street. The Dow jumped 135 points, the Nasdaq 83, the S&P 24. Investors were relieved there was no escalation of tensions with North Korea this weekend. The man who runs Merck, Ken Frazier, quit the President's Advisory Council this morning because he felt President Trump did not condemn hate groups in Virginia strongly enough this weekend. Richard Trumpka says the AFL-CIO, which he heads, is assessing its role in that council, which Trumpka says has not yet held a real meeting. Google and GoDaddy have yanked the registration of the Daily Stormer, that's the neo-Nazi website that promoted the deadly event in Virginia. Netflix has hired the creator of Scandal, Shonda Rhimes, to come up with some new programs for its viewers. Netflix now spends about $16 billion on content. And Amazon's offering money back to customers who bought solar eclipse sunglasses on its site that may not work when that eclipse happens next Monday. Chuck Hamlick, CNBC. At 6 a.m. Here's CNBC Business Updates weekdays at 9.30, 12.30, 3.30, and 6.30. Now, your WCPT News, Traffic, and Weather Update. Traffic on Chicago's Progressive Talk is sponsored by TheraWorks Relief. Good afternoon. I'm Laurel Vaughn. It's 80 degrees. Here are your travel times. Eaton southbound 17, inbound 18. Kennedy, 21 to the junction. Express lines will save you five minutes. 37 to O'Hare. 41 in from O'Hare and 27 from the junction. Ike, 34 out to Mannheim. 46 to Thorndale. 42 in from Thorndale and 14 from Mannheim. Stevenson, 36 out to the Tri-State. 48 out to 355. Inbound the crash at Lamont has been moved to the shoulder. 36 in from 355 and 23 from the tri -seat. Outbound Dan Ryan, 24 minutes. Inbound 17. The forecast, partly sunny this afternoon with a high in the middle 80s. Chance of thunderstorms this evening with a low of 68. Tomorrow, partly sunny with a chance of afternoon thunderstorms. It's 80 degrees. To relieve muscle cramps in your legs and feet, use TheraWorks Relief. This fast-acting foam can even prevent muscle cramps. Get TheraWorks Relief today at TheraWorksRelief.com. That's traffic and weather on Chicago's Progressive Talk. Now more of the Ben Jarofsky Show with special guest host, Scott Duff. You're listening to WCPT 820, because facts matter.